Let's get rich, what? The GK Vines and Sugar Dimes can't quit, what? Now pop the coke and Nina Vega and get lit, what? 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 Introducing Phantom Up. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Bill for a lot. Um, <clears throat> I'm bringing you some sniper gameplay. Uh, I'm not like the craziest, the quick scope elite optic no scope master. So don't don't expect me to like to be impressing the hell out of you guys. But I have been, I don't know. Before I got my dials, I talked about this in a while ago, but I doubt you guys saw the video when I talked about it. Um, like I was trying to get into the quick scoping and the whole sniper game because I never used to snipe before, just so I could like try impressing someone when I got my dazzle. So if I got some cool clip, then I wouldn't look like a. Then I mean like, if I got some cool clips, I'd have them saved on my dazzle and I could show them off on YouTube. And everyone would think I'd be so awesome. But um, uh, sniping through the floor. That's all you gotta do sometimes. Um, so yeah, see, look, I kind of want to quick scope over time. I can do it decently now. I'm not the craziest. This score, it is subpar to what I would normally put out. It's not, it's not the craziest. Um, I think I got like 38 and 13. But you have to like, um, you have to realize for sniping, mainly like quick scoping and not trying to just be the camping hard, uh, like the, I don't know. The way to be the most successful with the sniper is definitely just camping with your little thermal and all that stuff, and <clears throat> you will get the most amount of kills doing that. And um, running around like I'm doing with the sniper, being a little bit more aggressive, I wouldn't say I'm like super rushing with it, but I am being more aggressive than I would be if I was just trying to mainly go for the maximum amount of kills. Because I remember I used to, I used to get a couple of moves, like when I first got the game and when I was still a newbie at Call of Duty, I um, I didn't understand the ethics of, of camping and hard scoping and stuff and how it, it's hella gay and it's pretty newbie, so yeah. So like, I got a couple nukes like that because it's easy as hell, just camping and hard scoping, never scoping. Hard scoping, for those of you who don't know, is um, when like you're zoomed in with your into your scope and you're just staying in it like uh like right now how my scope is just down <laughs> if i was zooming in the whole time then that would be a hard scope and then the quick scope just zooming in like like a second to zoom in shoot and then i don't know there's all these different terms it's kind of been loosely like made up by YouTube community, I guess. There's not like set terms on all these things. I'm pretty sure. Like you could call it a, a, a rubber ducky if you wanted to, and then it'd be a rubber ducky to you. Just zooming in, long time. So these are just like popular terms among YouTubers and most of the Call of Duty community and stuff. Uh, but um, yeah, like the quick scope, the hard scope, the no scoping, not which is not using your scope you should know that when you just hit fire and then like a drag scope when you zoom in and then you pull your crosshairs to the side really fast across someone's body and shoot and like time it and, uh, Mr. Lancey Panty's online what's up Mr. Lancey Panty um yeah but the way to be successful or semi successful semi successful however you want to say that semi semi um, with a sniper, without doing the whole camping and all that shit, would definitely be, um, play defensively, which means I don't stand in one spot and zoom in the whole time, which is camping. Play defensively, don't be rushing into their spawn, because you've got that zoom capability, and use it to your advantage. If you can look really far away, like, see that guy all the way across the map, I don't have to hold in my scope the whole time, I can scope out, because I'm not fucking new, I can, I can handle doing that. I'm sorry, it just really bothers me when like, people, they never ever zoom out. Like every 15 shots they take at someone, it's all zoomed in. But they're missing because they suck. Hey, Mr. Lancey Pansy, once again. But, um, would definitely be played offensively. Um, that's like number one thing. And, um, I will. 
uh, it's kind of hard, harder in like objective games, like how this is domination, an objective game where there's something you have to do besides just kill people, like team deathmatch, um, team deathmatch and free for all, which are non-objective games. But um, it's uh, it's definitely harder in a game mode like this because you do have to deal with people with full auto guns at closer ranges and stuff because. If you're trying to cap a flag and they're trying to defend a flag and you got to deal with that, so so wrote, key to success: play defensively, learn how to quick scope, practice with your friends in private matches, and then also your secondary. Don't be afraid to use that secondary. Um, best secondary you can possibly use with a with a sniper is a pistol, hands down. It's a handgun. Maybe the M93 Africa, but in my opinion. That's fucking noobish when the snipers use akimbo M93 Rafikas. That pisses me off. But that's just my opinion. You don't have to listen to me. If that's how you like to do it, then go for it. But, um. Oh, well, I'll explain why I think that's the noobish shit ever. It's because what tends to happen is they just they just start abusing that secondary like they forget that they even have a second primary so it's a sniper rifle they just run around the map and be super aggressive because they're elite elite sniper division and they think they're so good but all they're doing is using their secondaries and yeah I do use my secondaries I use my USPs but <clears throat> you have to realize that there's like ranges there's a close range medium range and then there's the long range I guess so when you're at closer ranges, that's why I like to stick to akimbos. They got more power output at a closer range than just a single p pistol. And I only need them for single. I only need them for close range. For medium range, that's why you learn how to. That's why you learn how to quick scope. Quick scoping is a medium. It's a medium range tool. I don't really care. If people disagree with that, but it's a medium range tool, at least to me. And most people. It's a medium range tool. You can't quick scope across the map and like all the time. Maybe if you're fucking Jesus, you can, but that's just not the easiest thing to do. So, oh guys, body just fell. That was hella funny. But, um, <clears throat> you can't just be quick scoping across the map like you're God or something. So, it's more of a medium range tool. And, um,. Look at oh, okay. Just watch how my kill my kills get stolen like back to back right there, and then right here that guy gets stolen. Well, maybe that was just it. I felt like more when I was playing. I felt like everyone was stealing my kills. But yeah, the quick scope thing. Um, learn how to quick scope. Get good at that. The way I got pretty decent at quick scoping is just challenging everyone to one v ones like. Play search and destroy in between the rounds. Talk shit to people. Just be like, "Hey, you fucking suck." A one v one you. Even if they're good, and you know you'll probably lose, it's experience, and that's all that really matters. <clears throat> Just get experience with the mid range. That'll that'll handle most of your mid range, and you can. And the better you get at quick scoping and no scoping, which has no skill in this game. I totally did not see that guy, which is weird. But um, no scoping, which. There's no skill involved in no scoping in this game. It's just luck. The no scope is fly. You could have your reticles, which are like those four little dots that move in and out when you walk around. You could have them 100% on someone. And you'll shoot. And it will just fly out of the reticles. Straight up into space. <sighs> and this, yeah. This, in COD 40, you could kind of do like pinch scoping, which is. I'm not sure if that's an actual term. Me and my friends use that term sometimes. Penetrator, who's just walking in front of me. I hear him say that all the time, so that's where I got it from. I got it from him. But where you just, like, you just pull your trigger just a little bit. I mean, you're, uh, you zoom in just a little bit, so your, your, your reticles tighten up, and then you shoot. And it's just, like, a more precise no-scope. That shit works in COD 4, but... But, uh, hell no, it does not work in this game. So, yeah. That's why, that's why the sniper is, like... The qu at least the quick scoping is mid range in this game. The no scoping, it worked. Double spray with the pistol, son. The no scoping worked in COD 4. Like, effectively and efficiently. It, majority of the time, it would work out for you. But, the good thing about this game is that you got your Kimbo USBs. And see how much range that has? That's pretty far. That's, 
that's pretty good. And I was just spraying like a madman right there. I know that got embarrassing. But um, what was I saying? USPs. If you're in a close range area, don't hesitate to pull out your secondary, which should be a pistol. A Kimbo, in my opinion, is the best. Um, yeah, Kimbo USPs. I'm not a fan of the Kimbo 44s because I like to spray and I like to spray hard. When I use my sniper, so I say a Kimbo M9 to Kimbo USP is the best way to go for you. Just remember, use your secondaries, hard scope if it's long range. That's what your scope is there for. Don't get obnoxious with the hard scope. Don't just stay zoomed in all the time. But yeah, long range, hard scope, mid range, quick scope, short range, Kimbo USP. They punk ass. Peace.